Hello YouTube and welcome to Gaming Stuff and today I will be reviewing Death Star on the PS4. It is free for PlayStation Plus owners for April. Uh, PC has to pay 20 bucks for it. It is cross play so that's actually pretty cool. And it's a first, it's an arcade shooter uh, slash Moab game. Now this game doesn't have no uh, story or campaign so it's kind of confusing to understand what is happening in the game. You, know, you don't know why these aliens are fighting each other. But basically there's three alien races. There's the Astari. The Valiant and the Lipids. Now they're all fighting. It doesn't it doesn't tell you why they're fighting, but they're all fighting. But if you want to learn more, more, just go to their bio and it show you the whole info about each one of them. So if you want to go check it out, you could do so. But I'm not gonna do it because it's too long to actually read in, in this video. Now, even though this game is not a story game or doesn't have a campaign, it's actually a full-on uh, multiplayer game. And the three modes that this game has are Conquest, Five v Five. Conquest, 10v10, and Escape Run. The Conquest in this game basically plays kind of like in Battlefield. If you're a Battlefield player, it plays almost exactly like Conquest. Or you play COD, think of it like Domination. Where you basically um, go and capture uh, outposts that are controlled by the, uh, by the AI. like They're like robots. You basically go capture them. And you could either upgrade... The towers or the outposts by collecting ores, which are these green rocks that are scattered uh, all over the map. They're in asteroids, you blow up the asteroids, so they, you collect them, or they're uh, in spaceships. And you can use those orbs to upgrade your tower. And when you upgrade your tower, you get like new defenses, you get like turrets, machine guns, you know, shields. So it makes it harder for your for the enemy team to capture the apples, which could be it could be really good. So if your your team's not that good, you could go collect ores and upgrade your station. That way, it has a better uh, chance of uh, surviving an enemy attack. Now, there's nine spaceships in this game that you could choose from, and there's um you could choose up to three only in one game. Uh, there's three types. There's the small, which are the small ones, the which are they're fast. They have a uh, low, low damage, low health, but they're good for mining. So, um, they, yeah, they're mostly used for mining. Uh, they're not really strong against you know the heavy ones. They're actually kind of annoying. I mean, you're not gonna, you can't, you can't really take out a uh, one of the the big starships when the with one of the small ones. They're basically used for upgrading or defending or uh, collecting ores. Now the second type are the medium medium spaceships now they're they're like in between they have uh, medium damage medium health medium speed and they basically they do both they can either go out and collect ores or they could uh, help out and defend or capture enemy outposts and uh, each and the third one are the uh, are the big big spaceships and uh, they basically they're slow but they have high damage and high, high uh, health points, so they're hard to take down. Now each spaceship you could upgrade. Now the way you upgrade your spaceship is by earning XP in the game. So if you collect ores or and uh, deposit them in your outpost, you earn XP. And when the when when you earn XP, you get one point. And with that one point, you could either upgrade whatever your spaceship has. So each spaceship is unique. Each spaceship has their own special powers, their own weapons, which is really, really cool. I mean, uh, e this spaceship that I'm using right now, uh, you either have um, lasers that shoot, or you have missiles or homing missiles, which is really cool. So each each spaceship is unique in its own way. You know, there's three classes, each one's different. So there's that's good right there. I mean, if you don't really like this one, you could try another one. So it makes it, it it's diverse. I'm gonna say that. Now, the gameplay, it plays good. There's not one thing that's overpowered in this game. Everything seems to be balanced. Um, there is some things that can annoy you, but it really hap it rarely, rarely happens. Um, and also, uh, now the maps, the maps are pretty cool. They're different each time. They're like um, pentagons, and they're scattered in different uh, positions or different shapes each game. Which is really cool. So it's not it's not like you're playing on the same map. It's actually like they're positioned differently. So there's actually a lot of strategy. There's a lot of teamwork needed to capture these outposts. 
and then it could be really really enjoyable now the biggest negative for this game is that it actually feels like you're it's pretty repetitive and by what I mean by that is that it feels like you're playing the game over and over again without accomplishing anything I mean in uh, basically what you get from playing the game is uh, camels for your ships or um, profile pics for your pilots which are basically like pictures of different pilots and the one thing you actually earn from playing the games are are parts for so you could augment your spaceship and when you augment your spaceship you actually need to find like I think five uh, parts and then that would be like the same thing and then you upgrade it so it makes your spaceship stronger it's basically what it does and uh, it just feels like you're just playing the game over and over again and you, you're not really accomplishing anything I mean yeah you could um, level up and but that's pretty much it you just level up and you get profile picks, camels for your spaceship, and you got uh, parts for augmenting your spaceship. So it doesn't really feel like you're accomplishing right, much. Let's do that. Now, besides multiplayer, it also has um, training, which is basically tutorials on how to play the game. Uh, it teaches, teaches you how to do the controls, how to play the objectives. Right, so if you never played the game, um, I recommend that you play this first because it teaches you how to play the game. Because I played this first, so when I went to multiplayer, I knew what I was doing. I knew what was I, uh, what was the objective. So I recommend to new players to play this first. And also, if you need more help, there's actually uh, free play where you play in customized maps, uh, play with, against customized enemy levels, uh, outpost levels. Uh, customize the asteroids and customize the nebula so it's really helpful if you need uh, more uh, more help or more training but anyways I rate my game from the scale of 1 through 10 1 through 5 being bad 6 being below average 7 being average 8 being good with flaws 9 being great with few flaws and 10 being perfect now I'm gonna give this game uh, a 7.5 now the reason I gave this game a 7.5 is because of many reasons. One, it gives you a poor explanation of the story. It doesn't really give you any any history of why there's a war going on, what happened to the empires. There's no story, there's no campaign, so you're really confused about why these guys are fighting. Second, there's not a lot of game modes in this, uh, in this game. There's only two basically. There's Conquest and then uh, there's the one where you escort the, the battle. Sh battle ship and then you know you want to play more more mode because it gets really repetitive and finally and finally the main reason I gave it 7.5 is because it's very repetitive and but I and what I mean by that is that it feels like you're playing the same game over and over again I mean it's not a bad game I'm not trying to say it's a bad game but it just feels like you are just playing the same game over and over again because there's nothing really to keep you going there's no motivation into playing the game because I mean when you level up I mean by playing the game the only thing you get was of uh, some pro some paints for your ship some profile pictures um, XP and that's pretty much it and some parts for to augment your ship that's pretty much it I mean there's no motivation to keep you going I mean it gets really repetitive it's fun it's but but it, it is fun uh, a lot of people hate this might hate this game because the PlayStation Plus game, they want a triple A game, they don't like indies, but this is a great game, I mean, um, it's a good game, uh, I recommend you guys check this out, it's fun, uh, it could be, it is fun with friends, I mean, there's a lot of strategy, a lot of teamwork, it, get, it gets really competitive, so it, it's a good game with friends, it's fun, but overall, I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10, I hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I'll see you in the next, peace.